Let's have some Mangle exercise in Microtik by marking Upload and Download Traffic. In this video, I will demonstrate on how to use the built-in Mangle facility of Microtik. Mangle rules can mark connection and packets. So in such a way, we can mark our upload and download traffic for further processing like bandwidth assignments. As I try to limit the length of this video, we will have some demonstration conditions. First is we will start with the Microtik Router OS default configuration, so we will not start from scratch. Second, we won't be demonstrating upload or download files via software other than the browser. So the browser of choice for this demonstration is Google Chrome. And finally, we will only focus on the forward chain. Of course, we can mark traffic with other chains as well. Okay, I have a Microtik login with the IP address 192.168.88.1 with the admin user. As you can see, I have the Haplite model of the Microtik and on the interfaces, on the interface list, we have the two default interface list, LAN, which has the bridge interface, and WAN, which has the Ether1 interface. Let's check on our bridge interface. So on the bridge menu, we have a running bridge with member ports, Ether 2, 3, 4, and YLAN 1. So it's a default configuration as well. Let's go to IP DHCP client. So Ether 1 is our default internet port or going to the upstream provider, internet provider the IP firewall rules, we have filter rules as default configuration default filter rules on the network address translation menu so we have our masquerade not rule and on our mangle we have the special dummy rule for fast track counters if connections and packets are marked as fast track so it will bypass future facilities such as simple queue and q3 so we don't want that to happen in our upload and download traffic so you would like to handle those with our facilities so we may need to disable this fast track connection rule, IP filter rule, by clicking X to disable that one. And we have to do a system reboot on our Microtik router in order to apply the changes made. Alright, our router is rebooted. As you can see on the logs, the router is indeed rebooted. So we go back on our IP firewall menu and see on the filter rules the dummy counters are gone as well as on our Mangle facility. I have a folder in my Google Drive download and upload test folder wherein we can upload or download this 20 MB zip file for our testing. It is a good practice to use the built-in torch tool. So we go to tools, torch. Torch tool is Microtik's real-time traffic monitoring tool. So we can monitor traffic flows for our upload and download traffic. Our objective is to monitor upload traffic so we'll select interface bridge we check the protocol and ports to include in our monitoring so as you can see there are some minimal 
traffic so we haven't started our uploading yet so you could see it has some small traffic flows so let's try now to upload our test files so we go to our Google Drive upload files browse through the 20 MB zip file and the uploading is started so let's go back on our micro tick as you can see we focus on this second line let's focus on the protocol and the port used so UDP and HTTPS now that we have an idea on what protocol and port was used we can now go to our IP firewall mangle to create our first mangle by clicking the plus sign under general tab we go to chain and select forward forward as we want to capture packets passing through our micro -tick. protocol will be UDP destination port will be 443 for HTTPS in interface list is LAN out interface list is one so chain is forward protocol will be UDP destination port because we are uploading going into our LAN and coming out to our one under action tab in action settings so we select mark connection in new connection mark so descriptive name upload dash connection for this example pass through will remain check click apply click OK so we now have our first mangle rule it's a mark connection of forward traffic specifically UDP 443 from LAN to one so this time we'll create another rule by clicking the plus sign and we go back to the general tab under chain will still be forward this time we'll not be doing any protocol matching so we'll do the in interface list will still be LAN and our out interface list will be WAN however we'll add one more matching condition anything with a connection mark of upload connection okay so chain forward in interface list LAN one and you now have a connection mark that is upload dash connection we go to action tab and this time it's mark packet so the new packet mark is another descriptive name in our case upload dash packet so we will uncheck the pass through as we want packets marked with upload dash packet retain its packet mark. We now have our mangle rules to mark upload traffic. So we are now ready to test to upload files. We reset the counters for our two upload mangle rules. So let's go back to our Google Drive and try to upload this 20 MB file now so let's wait okay so it is beginning to upload so as you can see we now have some reading on our two mangle rules we are uploading a 20 MB file so we should expect that at least this reading will reach 20 MB until the upload is completed so we check on our Google Drive upload and yes the upload is now complete let's have another round of real-time monitoring by using our torch tool this time we change the interface to ether1 as we are monitoring the download connection so let's start to monitor our traffic flows we don't have some significant traffic flows so let's do a download this time of this file okay so click download 
to begin the downloading okay so it's now downloading the file let's go over to our torch tool and yes there is an ample amount of rx reading on our ether1 interface the port and protocol it's still 443 and UDP we go back to our mangle rules let us first comment the upload mangle rules let's go to action and click comment and type in a meaningful comment so for our case let's type upload mangle rules click apply click OK and we now have some comment let's click the plus sign to add a new mangle rule for our download connection so the chain will still be forward protocol will still be UDP this time it will be source port 443 in interface list coming in to our one interface and going out to our LAN interface okay so UDP 4431 to LAN. In the action tab, in the action setting, we'll select mark connection. For the new connection mark, it will be download dash connection for this example. We'll check the pass through, click apply, click OK. A quick review mark connection forward UDP 4431 to LAN. Okay? So click plus sign to add a new mangle rule. The chain will still be forward. No more protocol and port matching. In interface is one. Out interface is LAN. So this time there's a connection mark, but we will select download connection. In the action setting, let's mark the packet. And the new packet mark will be download dash packet for this example. And the pass through will be unchecked. Click apply, click OK. Let's have some meaningful comment first. Let's go to action comment. Let's comment it out. Download mangle rules. OK and click OK. So we now have some comment for our download mangle rules. Okay, so we have mark connection and mark packet. Let's click reset all counters to reset all counters on our mangle rules. So as you can see, bytes and packets are zero. Let's download this 20 MB file and see if our download mangle rules will have some reading. Okay, it's now downloading and as you can see there is a significant rise on the bytes and packets on our download mangle rules we are downloading a 20 mb file so you should be at least expecting a 20 mb reading as well so when it has no activity or reading so the download is done so let's re-upload again the file and see if it will read on the upload mangle rules instead of the download mangle rules. So it's now uploading the 20 MB zip file. Let's go back on our mangle rules and focus on the bytes and packets on the upload mangle rules so there is no significant reading on the download it's on the upload mangle rules so meaning to say our mangle rules distinguishes the upload and download traffic so in this mark upload and download traffic in microtik a mangle exercise in Microtik. So we have shown you as we gone through the Microtik router OS default configuration. So we just disable the fast track connection as we don't want our traffic to bypass future readings on other facilities such as SimpleQ and Q3. 
So we disable the fast track connection and we reboot it. After that, we use the torch tool, the real time monitoring or traffic monitoring tool by Microtik in order to determine the protocol and ports for our download and upload traffic. Again, for this exercise, we limit ourselves in a condition wherein we only upload and download files via a browser and particularly Google Chrome. There might be a different reading or different protocol and ports if you use other software or other browsers. We created our upload mangle rules. So we use the chain forward. Forward captures traffic passing through the Microtik router. So the protocol will be UDP. The destination port as we are uploading is port 443. We also have the in interface list, which is our LAN. The out interface list is WAN. And we mark the connection properly. We then proceeded to test to upload the files and determine if our mangle rules have really marked the upload traffic. We have also created our mangle rules for our download connection. The only difference is it is now using the source port instead of the destination port. Also the in interface and out interface list is reversed. It's WAN to LAN this time. With our testing via uploading and downloading of files via our Google Drive, we have determined that our Mangle rules can properly mark the traffic in both directions. With that, I hope you find this video on how to mark upload and download traffic in Microtik via Mangle facility helpful and use this as a guide in order to mark other traffic and use this marking for future implementation like quality of service. Thank you for watching.